Well, let's do another calculation here. Let me do a halfway point between this low and this high. All right, let's do a 50% or 61.8. Because one minute, I like to do the little stronger one. So this one minute low is, can you see that up there? Yeah. What's it say? The low. Oh, here it is. I can see it over here. 54.94. And the high is 55.24. So tell me what a 0.618% uh, correction down would be of that. 54.24 from 54.24 and 50, was it 55.24, wasn't it? 55.24 and 54.94, well, it shifted on me. So what's uh, what's sixty one point eight percent correction of that going on? Fifty five four. So one of what six? Six, one up 30 points, so be eight if I go eight to my, about 50, 5506, approximately 5505. I like that. <laughs> I think at that point the uh the one minute would come down. Should we try it? Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's put a trade in 5506, see what happens here. So we're going to buy 5506 by 100 shares. Now we're going to do some checking on it. I mean, we may end up changing going to market if this one minute gets down to close to zero. Let's try one other technique. Uh oh, what's happening? <laughs> Clicking down here. Okay. Liking this? <laughs> we're going to get it. Maybe. Okay, so the other way to do this, we could take, um, we could do an ABC with 1.618. You take this high, which is 55.22 minus this low, which is 55.07. It's so the difference of 15 cents. Now multiply that by 1.618. Remember that technique we use in class, ABC? And the C is going to be 1.618 of A. So what does that give me? Around 20, something like around 25, 24. So let's subtract 24 from this high. 24 from this high is... Um, <laughs> It's, 55, it's about 55. So there's my target, 55 to 5506 for next 15 minutes, next 10 minutes. We already got in 5506. Uh, <laughs> are we going to get this? We got, how, how old did we just get here? We just got down to 12. So we haven't got it yet. But if we get to 5500, 5506, if we're using these techniques we learned in class, and we think the market's bullish. Okay, we're going to buy in that support zone. Also, if I'm getting close to it and this one minute chart is getting down to zero, I may adjust it and go into the market as soon as I start seeing some kind of support develop. Okay, so I did A from here to here. It was like 55, uh, 12, 55, 12 to this low here which was, wait a minute, is that right? That's not right. 55.22, right, to 55, 55.07, 15 points. I multiply that by 1.618 and subtract it from this high. And that high was 55.24.
that gives me around 5,500, 55 even. So even though I'm using one minute charts, <laughs> which I don't recommend doing because it's, you know, it's a lot of work for, what am I gonna get, $10 out of this maybe, $15? Uh, but this is what you would do if you're looking you know, on the daily to get a, a short-term trade, a one to four day trade. We don't have the setup because we don't have a solar lunar value, you know, that's high for today. I don't think it is. The solar lunar value is, is not over 120. So we're not looking for a big reversal today. Um, we're not in a, well, we are in a bit of rever reversal zone because it is Mercury retrograde, but it has about a three to four day orb. And the market's making a high, but you know, if I was going with that, I'd be looking for some kind of indication that's making a high. But right now, everything looks like a, a buy because it's gapping up. It's gonna, it's near the high of the day. It's gonna close above resistance and it's gonna be a, did I get it? Am I long? Looks like I'm long. Well, it's going to tell me in a minute if I'm long. Now, if it starts going uh, too much against me, I'm going to cut it, okay? Because I don't want to take a big loss here. But <laughs> I don't want to take a big loss of 10 cents. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I know that we are. I know that we're working on the intraday yes. right now. Yeah. But I think once we're done with this, we should look at the daily because it looks like an inverted head and shoulders is forming on the uh, it? on the stocks on the uh, on the uh, daily chart itself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're we're basically long. Well, it didn't say I got long, did it? Or oh, did it said I bought it? So I got the low of the move. Not bad. Should I take my profit? <laughs> so this is good exercise for this. <laughs> right now I'm four dollars ahead of the game. <laughs> big big moment here. Okay. Next question is where am I going to get out? Where's my resistance here? <laughs> I wanted to get this one. What I'm going to go for is this one minute getting back up above 80, 90 percent, actually above 90 percent, and then I'm just going to go out of the market if it gives me that chance. I mean, it never got oversold though, so I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> I like to see that get down closer to zero. But this is a calculation that shows you where support is 55 to 5506. We got the low, 5506. Um, well, I'm really rolling the dough now, aren't I? 5512. Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, so are we at 330 yet? No, 325. Okay, so it's coming back now. It's going to go, it's probably going to, you know, go and test that low, maybe get to 5,500. We don't want to see it go below this low, though. And that low was what? 54.94. Okay. So you said we got a head and shoulders, Johnny? Inverted, yeah. Now let's take a look at that. So we're trying to form the right shoulders. And you're talking about on the daily. Correct. All right. Let's look at the daily here. Okay, so inverted head and shoulders. You see it? No. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the U Dow. I need to get the Dow itself. Well, it's there too. We mean this line here? That's not. Yeah, we got an inverted head and shoulders. We haven't broken the neckline. Correct. That's okay. Forward. All right. That's what I thought you were saying. We broke the neckline. I don't no, see no. it breaking the neckline here. But you know, this is a. Uh, this is the right thing to do because the, the stochastics are pointing up. The daily's in your favor. Let's look at the, the 60 minutes, see if that's still in your favor. No, it's getting overbought. Yeah. So we don't want to take this position home. I don't want to take it home, not with Mercury going retrograde. Here we are, 30 minutes, starting to turn down a little bit, but not much. 15 minute, turning down a little bit. Five minute. Turning down, but it's starting to curl up. And now we go to the one minute. Aha, that's what I want. <laughs> but I've got to get past this minute so it stays up. Okay. Aha. I want that to get up to around, you know, 80 or so. And then we'll take our profit. Or we can estimate where that would be. Uh, why don't we go for somewhere right around here? What's that? 55, 20 area. That would be like a little head and shoulders, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, okay, so let's sell at 55.20. Okay, trade, sell, just have it sitting there. We may change our mind. What happened? Oops. That would confuse the floor broker, wouldn't it? Looks like I just missed it. Got to 19. Was that 19? <laughs> Missed it by a tick. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. We're going to watch this for, we're going to baby it for a moment now before we go back to our course. Let's see if we um, pay for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> So I got the one minute chart. It's still never really got oversold, but it's, it could still go up. Mm -hmm. Any questions at this point? Why we're waiting for it to uh, stop us out or pay for a coffee? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you, you mentioned you would enter the position. Say, say we're, we're expecting a reversal. We see a low forming. Things going to be an isolated low. Yeah. So you, you enter a long position and you would enter your stop loss just below the daily support. Or so, the isolated low. Yeah. This is, I started doing it just when I see yeah. the isolated low come in. I put it right there. Just, just yeah. a, a tick or two below it. Sometimes daily support would be lower than the isolated low button. Well, here's the thing. Yes. When you're talking about using solar lunar, you, you want to get before the isolated low. If you want the setup is where it takes off the low the previous day. Right. You don't know it's an isolated low until the next day it yes. holds. Yeah. So once you got that, you know where to put your stop loss. Yes. But until then, you're going to go below daily support. Right. Well, I, I kind of I, I want to get right at the bottom. So You want to get right at the bottom? Yeah. Uh, my so, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing exactly what you're doing here. So I'm watching that hourly, 30 minute, 10 minute, yeah. five minute. Everything looks perfect. I know we're in the right time zone. I see the low forming. I, I see divergence appearing. I enter it and I put it where, as soon as I enter it, I put the stop loss just a tick or two below it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Without it being the, before the day closes and before you notice I said low. Correct. And it might, it might close out four or five times, but I don't actually lose that much money. That's true. Yeah. And, and then when I catch it, it's really satisfying because then it just yeah. goes up. Yeah. <laughs> well, this would be really satisfying if I get my cup of coffee paid for. Yeah. <laughs> Is your coffee not right? No. <laughs> <laughs> my glass of water, just so water. <laughs> you start now. Yeah. So the way I do it is sort of like that, but I don't, I don't use that type of stuff. I mean, I, I give it a little bit more room. Yeah. Um, I'm buying where I think the low of the day is when I get everything set up and it is low the previous day is low. If it's in daily support, that's even better. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. But I'm using probably a monetary risk, you know, maybe, I don't know, it depends, you know, what technical support is. So I'm, I've got a stop loss, at least a mental stop loss, and I'm planning on this low holding the next day. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it might go lower than where I got in, but whatever the low is this day, I'm planning on holding the next day. Yeah. And if it does, good. Then I know where my stop loss is. Because I don't want to, I want my state of low. If I'm coming out of the time band, I don't have my state of low. Um, and it's keep on going. I better get out. It's not working. You know, I don't have my state of low, so I don't have the full setup. But you're not going to have the full setup when you start putting on the trade. You're just going to take out the low the previous day and anticipate because the stochastics on the 30 minute, five minute, et cetera, are so low that it's going to bounce and that low is going to hold. So you have to anticipate that. Yeah. So you got the right idea. I think the only difference is you you probably use a tighter stop than I would use. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not too worried about using a tight stop if the trend is up. If the trend is up, I don't mind if I'm down a little bit. I mean, I, I do mind, but I don't mind. I don't sweat <laughs> because the trend is up. So to me, it's a position trade. If it, it, it works, it, it's a position trade as long as it doesn't take all the low to start this move. Okay. So 
I want to be with the trend. I want to get a correction. I don't want to go too far below. I certainly don't want to take out the look again this trend. How am I doing here? It's treading water, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What do you say about consolidation near the highs? <clears throat> what do you say, Johnny? Tell us what the rule is with that. It's still yeah. bullish. It's still bullish, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. We're getting consolidated between our where we bought it, which was what 5505, 5506, and the high, which is 5524. So pr prices like to correct, markets like to correct via price or time. Mm -hmm. If you correct via time, it's more bullish. So do I want to pull up my uh, exit point? <laughs> no, I think it's good for now. <laughs> we got a new half hour. Should we look and see what the next half hour is? Let's calculate that resistance and support. You ready? We're going to do it on the UDEL this time. I'm going to um, get on the whiteboard too for that. Okay. So we're going to use UDEL this time. Wow. It's really tight. <laughs> yeah, that's my God. That's good. It's a, that's a bull flag. Okay. So, okay, so last half hour, we got the high 55.24, the low 55.06. How nice is that? Uh, the close 55.12. Okay, so what's the pivot point? Can you just read those numbers again? Yeah, let me read those again. 12. 18. Um, Where'd it go? There we go. 55, 14? 24. 55, 24, 55, 06, 55, 12. So 14. Yeah. 55, 14 is pivot point? Yeah. Okay, multiply by 2. And subtract from it the low, 55, 06. That'll be resistance. 55, 14. Yeah, that's the pivot point. 28 minus uh, 55, 22. 55, 22 is one resistance. Let's get the other resistance, which is 55, 24 minus 55, 06 is 18. Take half of that, which is 9. Add it to the close, which is 12. So that'd be 55, 21. 55, 21, 55, 22. So you see in this case how <laughs> that's okay. All you do is switch up. Yep. So now if we go with the low, um, the pivot point is 55.14 yeah. times 2 minus 55.24. 55.04. 55 okay. And then the other one, 55.24 minus 55.06 gives me 18, so 9, 9 minus 12, 55.03. 5503, 55. Okay, so there's my. I'm getting out of 5520. Or 19. I'm getting out of 19. No, you're getting out of 19. Maybe you should lower. No, 5520. Yeah, you're right. I think I put the order in 5520. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 20. Yeah, I'm fading it. Yeah. <laughs> it might hit my price and not give it to me. Yeah, you know? exactly. This time it gave me my. But usually it does give me a swap gives you your price in most cases yeah. if it hits it. Didn't used to get that with other firms. So, how am I doing? I'm still treading water. 5514 is really hanging in that congestion zone, isn't it? Okay. Should we better stop it right here? 55. Well, you can, but um, I'm just going to use the mental stuff because I'm right where I'm on. Me, when I put the stop in, it's an invitation to go get it. <laughs> it is true. They'll, they'll hire stops. Oh, yeah. The brokers will hire stops. Yep. With the High frequency trading, I mean, that's what you're looking for. Looking for where your stops are. As soon as you see it coming up on the screen, boom, they're going for it. So I don't, I don't show that. If it hits, then I'm looking to get off. Is, uh, is does that have to do with where they see volume when they're hunting stops? Yeah, it's the market maker. So the market maker yeah. will see the good to cancel orders yeah. on their screen, like on their tablet. Like, yeah, I'm carrying around this tablet. You ever see the guy on the, on the trading floor who has the tablet? Yeah. 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 He sees all the orders. Yeah. So if the price is at 55 and he sees, you know, a dozen orders at 54, he's going to sell, 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 sell until yeah. it hits that point. Yeah. Because his job, the market maker's job is to provide liquidity to the market. Yeah. And if there's a, 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 a flurry of liquidity at a certain price, that, that's, what their, that's what their job is to do. <laughs> so were there questions from people on the... Um, on the webinar.
You can ask questions. I got the chat up here. I can cancel that. Let's see. We did the we shared the one with the whiteboard. Yeah, we shared that. That's it. Okay, that's it. We got all the questions answered. Looks like it's uh, going to go visit that support area again. What's our lower support now? O3 to so I, I'm not going to do anything as long as it's holding there. So we have to remind you for a copy. <laughs> let's see. Let's go to the one minute chart again. See if that's getting us uh, down to under 20. Aha. Oh, good. That's what we want, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that. Now we want to see it get back above 25. Yeah, I would probably be looking to buy it again here. BTFD. <laughs> What's that? Travel double. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? We're all waiting in suspense for you don't make a move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it did make it. There we go. Now this is for Okay. This is where I should have been buying it right here. <laughs> so we're in surprise. See if it holds. Let's see if it holds up. Let's see if the yeah. Let's see if this thirty minutes going to hold. Suppose. If it does, then we know that there. Are, yeah, one minute chart. Yeah. I'm looking one minute chart. Yes. Yeah, but it's based on the thirty minute support. Yeah. Let's see how many of the uh, high frequency traders have this program in this way. It's <laughs> pretty quiet, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah. Somebody bought it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, sure. Come on, see this. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. see how this works? Yeah. These are good formulas we're giving you. Yeah. These are good uh, exercises to go through. Look at that. Oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> It's going to be very bullish now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the resistance? Oh, 55, 20, well, I mean, there's reason to think it could get very bullish because it's been, it's, a, it's going to be a crossover zone. It's be a bullish crossover zone. When, when I see the price pattern, that still says, do that, see? Wow. The pattern is still bullish. Something's uh, Yeah, you called it. You said it was in a, a flag. Yeah. I think I'll give it one more minute because we need to get some class time in here too. <laughs> a bearish flag? A bullish flag. Like a channel. Oh, channel. channel. Yeah, it be a, yeah, so oh, you, channel. you can even call that a pennant. So a pennant is like a, a bull flag with a channel. Oh, this is You can want to exit out your channel on the screen up there. Okay. There you go. Did it. All right. There you go. Hockey paid for us. All right. Beautiful. Now it's going to get very bullish. Yeah. Can you show that with the laser, the flag? The flag? Oh, you mean I just draw it? With the with your laser pen. Can you show us? Uh, the flag? So, would you actually zoom out a little bit? I Zoom out. Zoom out. So minute chart is not. Oh, you want to be a uh, so minute? Similar, similar to how. The longer term trend yeah. or power yes. term yes. trend. Yes. A price pattern on a longer term time horizon is more powerful than a shorter term horizon. So if you observe a price pattern on a weekly chart, it's stronger than a price pattern on an hourly chart. Just, By the way, do you see where the, the market stopped? Yeah. 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 Resistance. Yeah. So, <laughs> well done.